What's up, 805? Bill Losey right here in Studio 805 for the Ventura County Star and Cam Rio on purpose, kicking it on my couch with my humble views about what to know about where to go this week. All right, we finally got that jerk Osama bin Laden. The war's over, right? Let's go home. And no, Republicans, Bush had nothing to do with it. The black guy did it, President Barack Hussein Obama. Bush was the guy that invaded the wrong country and gave us the Patriot Act. Remember how Iraqi oil was going to pay for the whole thing? Since the Taliban attacked our soldiers in Afghanistan, then retreat to Pakistan. Doesn't that make Pakistan the real enemy? Here's how to end our involvement in Afghanistan and emerge victorious within a week. Send whoever got Osama into Pakistan, except more of them, and steal all Pakistan's nukes. And this is the real fear in the area, that these nukes will fall into the hands of the terrorists and seize the nukes, kidnap Dr. A.Q. Khan, the Pakistani nuclear scientist, then lead them to enjoy the 12th century. Too easy. All right, Mr. President. Save everything that needs saving at home and tax the corporations and the rich. Okay, that's enough exposition for me. I'm here to talk to you wonderful folks about live music. And to that end, about a faster car, a richer girlfriend, even one with a job. Here's what here's I'll be lurking in the back this week. Okay, tonight, beginning in L.A., it's one of my favorite bands, Arabian Nets. They'll be at the legendary Troubadour in West L.A. And heading north, still getting his kicks, that would be the former Paul Revere and the Raiders frontman, Mark Lindsay. He'll be at the Cavernous Canyon Club in Agoura Hills. Check out my interview in this week's Time Out. Proof positive that I'm hardly making any of this up. And a few miles further north to the 805 at the big square cement thing by the freeway, that is the Civic Arts Plaza in Tio. It's Charo having achieved one name notoriety along with Chair Madonna and Godzilla. She swears to keep the coochie coochie shaker money maker machinations to a minimum and instead dance and play the guitar, a skill she learned from Andre Segovia himself. In Oxnard, if you survive the traffic hell that is always the price it always takes to get anywhere, it's the Bobby Campbell Acoustic Circus at the lookout. In Ventura, making livers quiver and endangering any wine glasses nearby, it's heavy-duty rock from the generator. They'll be at the San Susi around the corner on Main. It's Lovebird at the Good Bar, while down C Street to the Bombay, it's those Shoemaker Brothers playing early, and love this band name, the Shoddy Cons will play later. They've been around since the sundowns were in black and white. It's those Flynn brothers at Zoe's down at Santa Clara. And Teresa James and the rhythm, rhythm tramps will make the salsa sweat when she plays some rock and blues tonight at Yoli's Mexican Restaurant across the street from Avenue Vons, also in Ventura. On Saturday, if you're in L.A. moping about the Dodgers, the submarines will surface at the Troubadour in its 80s flashback time with Berlin at the Key Club in Hollyweird and up here in the 805 where we like it. Frank Bross will play at Tootie's in Ventura on Saturday afternoon. On Sunday, the Shoemaker Brothers will help Bernadette pay the rent in Ventura. Bernadette has great beer and she can cook, clearly a cultural landslide. On Monday, it's ever clever singer-songwriter K.T. Tunstall with the El Rey in L.A. And the delightful Gurf Morlicks will be channeling some Blaze Foley at Zoe's in Ventura Monday night. Don't miss that one. On Tuesday, weirder than everything else this week is Dread Zeppelin at the Key Club. For the uninitiated or those of you on drugs, Dread Zeppelin is where Led Zepp songs are morphed into reggae songs as channeled by an overweight Elvis impersonator, Tortelvis. It's weird. On Wednesday and every Wednesday in May, it's, to it's Todd Hannigan at Zoe's bringing his many talented friends to play some groove-friendly rock. And finally, on a Thursday, when long hair and beards come back, he'll be like a god. That's Brian Wright. He'll be at the Hotel Cafe in Hollyweird. And the cars, remember them, they'll be at the Hollyweird Palladium. Okay, that's that. Now this, Rock and Roll Call, the record running service of cyberspace. My humble advice to buy it, fly it, or walk right on by it. First up, new one. And second CD by my new favorite band. That would be the f those Fleet Foxes from the Great Northwest. The album is... Helplessness blues and it's on way cool sub pop. Like beautiful music? Then these guys are for you as frontman Robin Pecknoll seems to be channeling classic moody blues and the Beach Boys and these exquisite folk delights. Battery Kinsey and Lorelei are a couple of the best tunes you're liable to hear this year. If you're wearing a Ramstein t-shirt, we clearly are inhabiting conflicting realities, but these fragile folk rockers are going to require a crowbar to, in order to extract them from my CD player. Love them. You will too. Buy it. Next up is a new one from Lucinda Williams. The album is Blessed, and it's on Lost Highway. The saddest woman with wrist yet unslit continues with her bummer of the month renditions of love lousy songs, and with the quivering voice, Lucinda seems ready to give up the ghost, but somehow manages to finish each song. The iconic girlfriend from hell you can't take anywhere for fear of imminent meltdown for no apparent reason. With that said, this is her best album since Car Wheels on a Gravel Road. The band is perfect. Lucinda is in most magnificent musical mope, and if more proof be needed, bad love does make for good songs. And hear great songs. Buy it. Finally, the latest from Galactic 
It's their ninth album, The Other Side of Midnight, and it's on Anti Records. This is a live one, as ably realized by this New Orleans soul and jam band. As to be expected, there's a lot going on, a million guys in the band creating controlled chaos for the dance floor. Then again, they noodle along in an endless, mindless, and senseless manner, just like jam bands do. If that works for you, here's your new favorite band. I'm going to walk on by this one. But they're good, so there's that. Okay, that's it for this time. Thanks for hanging out for these few precious moments. Darn glad to be here. Bill Losey for Studio 805 for the Ventura County Star. Go check out some live music. It's fun if no one tells you how to act. How are you going to be? Hit some Fleet Foxes there, M.